Hello and welcome to this how-to video. I want to show you today in our Solar Creator tool how you can manually add a PV array in our system. I have already started a project for this and have completed step number one, the location, and step number two with the consumption. In step number three we have the PV arrays and the first option would be here to do a visual roof planning. And we scroll down until we can read add PV array because this is now the manual way. If I hit this button, it opens up this window where we can select the manufacturer that we want to choose. So for example, I want to say Kyoto Photovoltaics. Right next to it, we have the module type. So we can either scroll until we find the correct module or we can enter a watt peak in order to find the correct one. Next up, we need to select how many modules we have enter or we have on our roof here. So let's say we have 25 modules, which gives us a 10 kilowatt peak system for right now. Right next to it is the question, what's the module tilt? If we hover about the, above the information button, we can read this means the roof angle or at least the module angle. So if you install on the roof, it automatically is the roof angle. So let's say we have now a 30 degree roof. And the next question is, what's the module orientation? Is it an east, south or west orientation or can be even a north orientation or a slight north inclination? And let's say, okay, in our scenario here, we talk about 180 degree, so a south orientation. The mounting can be roof, building integrated or freestanding, which differentiates the airflow behind the module. So a roof mounted system already has a little gap in between the back of the module and the roof itself. The building integrated is directly integrated into the roof and therefore there is no cooling now, no active cooling with an airflow behind it. So a little less efficient. And the freestanding means it's standing on the ground in the field without any construction underneath it or no building underneath it. Last but not least, we can enter here a bifacial power gain if we have selected such a module. Further down below, we can read add a PV array because we can add up to three of those if we want. So the second option how we can add something is with the three dots on top here and you can say here duplicate. If you select it, it automatically copies all of the entered above and copies it down here. So we can read now PV array 2. In here we have the same manufacturer that we have selected before and also the module and we simply change how many modules we want to enter now. So let's say on our second array we want 10 modules also with 30 degree of module tilt but now it's not a south orientation but this is the east installation. So we enter 90 degrees. So now we have a south and an east orientation. You can even change the wording if you feel more comfortable then. So let's say this is the south orientation and down below would be the east orientation. And in total we can see here now 4 kilowatt peak and 10 kilowatt peak. It gives us a PV generator of 14 kilowatt peak. Yeah, and the last button on the very bottom here is called connect with. It all, there is also an info box here and it basically means if you select this, it means you want an inverter, preferably, who can handle both of the systems. So you have two MPP trackers and uh, can operate with two PV arrays on it. If you deselect it, it will search for two inverters, so for one inverter for each PV generator. And you can add up to three as mentioned before. 